But I do want to bring your attention to a story we have been monitoring the past several days. We have seen some controversy on this topic. A couple of days ago, we got a call from a mother for, who has children within Katie ISD. You know, she said she was worried because her daughter went in for a school sports physical. She claims that the contracted physician with the district checked her pulse in her growing area. So I do want to bring in our sports uh, cardiologist here, Dr. John Higgins. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, Brittany during this hour this morning. Uh, for those who may not know, we're not familiar with, with what the femoral artery is, where it is in the body, mm -hmm. because that's really what this is centered around. Sure, so um, Brittany, the femoral artery, if you look at the groin, mm -hmm. it's about, it's just less than half the way from the middle to the outer part of the groin, and you can feel it fairly easily in yourself. In fact, mm -hmm. I, you can even feel it through your clothing here. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a really, really important artery, Brittany, because we we use it in kids, and I, I do screening physicals as well. Mm -hmm. What one of the things that a heart condition that can cause problems for kids in sports is a thing called coarctation of the aorta, which is basically the main order, aorta is the main artery coming out of the heart, and it gets really, really badly narrowed. And so we detect that by checking the pulse in the arm, the radial artery or the brachial artery, and feeling the femoral pulse at the same time. And in this condition, normal people, you feel them same time. In okay. this condition, the femoral pulse down in, uh, below is delayed. It's a little bit later, and this can point to this condition, which is a really, really important condition in kids. Also, it's a really, really important condition in some young adults that we see that come in with high blood pressure, because this condition can also lead to high blood pressure in adults. So this mm. is something that we do, and like anything that we do when I'm seeing patients, it's always a good idea to say to the patients, okay, I'm gonna listen to your heart now, then listen to the heart. Right. I'm gonna check your pulse. And I think that's really important for physicians to remember that, you know, sometimes if they do things and they're in a hurry they forget that but that's a really important thing to do just communicating with them walking yeah. it through it I think the interesting thing that maybe not everyone knows as you were mentioning it's it's the wrist uh, in conjunction with checking yeah. that area that that can be indicative of this condition exactly Brittany and another thing that you may not know and this is a, a another reason to know about the femoral artery it's considered one of the actually most important life uh, saving arteries in the body. So think about someone who is in a bad car wreck or a trauma and they're bleeding out from their leg. Well, you know, there was a case recently where a child knew about the femoral artery and saw this accident and this adult was bleeding, you know, mm -hmm. from their leg and they would have bled to death and the child knew wow. to push on the femoral artery and to save their life. As well, you know, in the hospital, we use um, the femoral artery when people come in really, really sick and they're in shock uh -huh. and where, you know, having to give them fluid Fluids, oftentimes I have a very weak femoral artery pulse and we use that to gauge kind of how we're doing with our resuscitation and then finally in the clinic you know we'll check it as well in our elderly patients sometimes they'll say oh I'm getting cramps in the legs doc you know and I'm and we're thinking oh maybe they have some peripheral arterial disease another common cardiovascular condition where there's a lot of plaque in the arteries and the pulse gets weaker with time in the femoral arteries so it's a wow. really really important artery and I think everyone should know not only about the femoral artery, but you know, how you can use it in an emergency situation. You know, if someone is bleeding really badly from a leg that you come across. Certainly indicative of a lot of things. That's, that's yeah. very fascinating. I think from a parent perspective, mm -hmm. um, it, when we focus on the physicals here, they're curious on what they can do, because as you mentioned, it's about communicating what you're right. doing, right? So what would you suggest parents do if they're sending their teens or sending their children to get these physicals done? What, what would you walk them through? to do well perhaps. I would I would tell them that most likely you know during the physical if if for younger kids certainly Brittany you know the parents should be able to get, be in the room you know as a, uh, sure. a witness to what's going on but for the other kids if they're having it at school just tell them that look during the physical the doctors or the uh, health providers probably gonna ask you a couple of questions and tell them the truth you know like for example are you having palpitations do you get chest pressures or pains when you exercise have you ever felt dizzy like you're gonna pass out or something like that so tell them to always answer truthfully and and tell them also that most likely that provider is going to have a listen to your heart and check some of your pulses mm -hmm. and your legs and you know that's to be expected and if there's anything that you don't want as a child you know if the person says do you if is it okay if I 
check your pulses and you don't want to, you can always have the child say, no, I would prefer you don't do that. And just be aware that, you know, the a whole idea is we're trying to discover if there's some underlying problem that right. could cause serious problems later. And in, in Texas, we have a law also for the high school um, children now that they also have to be offered an ECG. You know, would you like to get an ECG as part of your screening? That's HB uh, 76, which was passed in Texas not too long ago. And that requires us because we know that not only the history and the physical are helpful, but it looks like the ECG also can be very helpful to detect some of these underlying mm -hmm. heart conditions, especially the electrical ones that don't really show up on the physical exam. It's not indicative anywhere else. Well, yeah. and that's, it's so fascinating, especially from the medical perspective behind all of this. Dr. Higgins, um, we appreciate your perspective here. Is there anything else uh, regarding this that you think it's important that parents well, know? Well, I think that all parents should take their kids along annually for an annual physical before the school year starts. Even if it's not required, sometimes the schools will say, oh, you only have to do it every couple of years. Mm -hmm. I still say, get it checked, get your child checked out. Normally the doctor will, or the provider will do a, a thorough check. They will also make sure their immunizations are up to date, which is really, really Very important. important. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes they'll pick up things like if the child is gaining a little bit of weight, um, they may be able to get the child back on track so that, you know, they don't end up, you know, as an adult with diabetes or high blood pressure. So I think make sure get your kids checked each year um, before school and of course if there's something that the child tells you like if they say to you you know mom I I just notice I'm not as fast as the other kids or I get more out of breath than the other kids at school or I sometimes I get dizzy you know when I'm um, running and and I don't feel well if there's anything at all that the child reports to you take it very seriously don't blow it off and I would definitely bring them along to the doctor and, and tell them what's going on because there are certain things that we can detect early from the children telling us some of these symptoms. And the, the uh, unfortunately, Brittany, a lot of the kids don't, you know, they, they often just think, oh, I'm, it's just a normal thing. So when the kid says something, take notice. Mm -hmm. They're not, you know, trying to get out of school or anything. In most cases, they are really telling you, and this can be the warning sign that potentially yeah. could diagnose something to save their life. Listen to your child, pay attention, yep. and you know them better than anyone, right? Yeah. Okay. And Brittany, lastly, in our summer, which is ongoing still, right. I would also tell parents, make sure your kids hydrate really, really well, because if someone is dehydrated, they can also run into heat illnesses, which can also affect the heart and cause them to pass out. So make sure they go to school with water. They've got water available and, you know, water in the morning, during the day and, you know, later in the day. Make sure they're well hydrated. That's a really, really important thing and getting that good night's sleep so they can perform mm -hmm. at school and in the gym really, really well the next day. All of the small things that can't be overlooked. To Dr. Higgins, as always, we so appreciate your insight and perspective. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Brittany. And how happy World Heart Day for all of your viewers today, which is yes. today. Important to highlight. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Thanks, sir. Brittany. We do want to point out that Katie ISD send, did send KPRC to this statement saying that femoral pulse readings are specifically approved by the American Heart Association. However, after parental concern, the practice is no longer administered at KDISD.